Hey guys, welcome back to the next Sundog tutorial. This time I want to show you a very quick and easy way to find nice melodic rhythms and patterns. So if you want to create great bass lines, melodies or arpeggios, I am sure I got something for you. I made a small song for this tutorial. It's a little bit dub influenced and works with just two chords. This and this. And it sounds like this. Ok, let's take a look at the instrument here. We can create an arpeggio that follows the chord notes. So we can create all these patterns by ourselves, but we can also use the built-in pattern search to find stuff that is useful for our song. Simply click here and you will get to the pattern search page. As you can see, we got a left side, which I will cover later on, and we got a right side with a list. The list contains all the patterns that Sundog finds in the pattern subfolder. In my case, I got 207 items. When click item for live preview is checked, you can listen to the patterns easily. You can also check play live preview in solo mode. The patterns are organized in subfolders. So for example we got some arpeggios here, or some backbeat stuff, patterns for bass lines and so on. Most patterns got a name like L06 up up and the L06 will give you a hint about the length of the pattern. In this case it consists of 6 steps. Now let's take a look at the left side. The box up here is a simple text search. Let's search for bass for example. Now we got all the patterns that got bass in their names. Click on OK and the pattern will be used for your instrument. Alright, what else can we do? Click on Reset to clear the list. Up here we got different options to search for pattern properties. For example, we might look for patterns that contain volume variations. When Allowed is checked, we will find all patterns. When volume changes are not allowed, we will find only those patterns that have a constant volume. And when volume changes are required, only those patterns show up that have volume variations. Made for triplets can be used to find those patterns that were created especially for triplets. Use the octave jumps option if you search patterns that jump up or down between octaves. Stop symbols can find those patterns that contain at least one stop symbol. For example, let's say we need a pattern that contains both volume changes and stop symbols. The next two options are useful if you need to find certain melodies. Constant notes patterns are those patterns that consist only of zeros. Direction up or down will find melodies and arpeggios that run in a certain direction. And the final option, 
multiples of 16th will match those patterns that are either 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 or 64 steps long. This can be useful if you want to work with patterns that loop after an uneven amount of steps. You can change min number of steps and max number of steps if you only need patterns of a certain length. Alright, let's take a look at some examples. Let's say we search for an arpeggio that is always going up. Or maybe down. Or let's take a look at the bass. We do a reset and want to find a bass line that contains octave jumps. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.